Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's no surprise to me that we would once again be talking about Trisha Paytas. From her claiming to be pretending to have DID, and even identifying as a chicken nugget. Here we are once again today talking about how Trisha Paytas backstabbed her own brother-in-law. And not with anyone, but his arch enemy, Killer Keemstar. Oh boy, you're in trouble now. <laughs> now of course recently Trisha Paytas has ended more drama. Even Gabby Hanna is getting involved begging Ethan to be on his podcast. Trisha's enemy also. A lot of hate in this world. A lot of it. And I hate hate. So welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price channel. It's uh, been a while. A few days. It's been a couple of days. But of course, you know that this is the channel that offers controversy without the depression. Now, just before I speak about Ethan's epic tweet, firstly, I want to remind everyone who Trisha Paytas once was. And I thought, what not better way than to start with uh, this video. <sighs> Oh, God! Oh, God. I mean, surely this has to be illegal. And how many views did this video get? When I say, well, let me tell you. That, tell you that today I'm announcing my official retirement from commentary. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, when Ethan found out that Trisha Paytas had been on Keemstar's podcast, Ethan H3H3 tweeted this. Garby messaged me immediately after Frenemies broke up trying to get on the podcast. I knew it would be an interesting show with lots of views to be had. But I didn't even respond to her, and still haven't. Some things you just don't do. I would never do that to Trisha. Uh, yeah, Trisha. Um, just as Ethan said, some things you just don't do. 46. <sighs> Sorry. So as we can see by Ethan's tweet, ladies and gentlemen, Ethan seems genuinely upset by Trisha's actions. But of course, this is what we should expect due to Trisha's backstabbing tendencies. And you know what? More and more we see this. And her name should be something like... Trisha, don't tell your secrets to her paytas. <laughs> I really gotta stop writing these down. Now you might be asking, how did Ethan discover that Trisha went on their podcast? Well, it was due to Keemstar posting an image on Twitter of him flicking off Ethan H3H3. Oh, you got him. You got him good. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, just as I was preparing this video, Ethan H3H3 actually released a video on the H3 podcast titled, I'm done with Trisha. And honestly, I think you won't be surprised with what he said first. Keemstar posted this photo of her at their podcast. And then Keemstar grinning, flipping me off, and Trisha wearing a friend of me's hoodie. What the fuck? And I was like, I was like, dude, this is betrayal on a whole new level. I mean, especially considering just how much smack Trisha had talked about Keemstar, like literally two days, like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you hear that correctly. Trisha Paytas went on Keemstar's podcast with a friend of his hoodie, even though Trisha spoke shit about Keemstar a few days before that. Uh, this world is too much. I hate this world is too much. Um, so I'm going on this podcast This world is too much. Anyway. <laughs> this world is too much. <laughs> and honestly, ladies and gentlemen, this is why Trisha Paytas will never change. She has the balls to do stuff like this to her own brother-in-law. And honestly, as soon as I heard this, I thought to myself, wait, you're telling me Trisha Paytas backstabbed someone again? <gasps> oh no, I'm so surprised. But once Ethan posted his Twitter statement, you never guess how many times Trisha Paytas posted content about him. Two TikToks, a four minute video, and three tweets. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's a, that's a seven. 27 TikToks, 42 minute video, and 23 tweets. Right. Sorry guys, just really fucking bored at this point. And honestly, I don't think I've ever actually posted that many tweets in one year, let alone in one day. And that's because I actually have a life. And you know what, my friends? H3's video was actually an insane video. Some of the points he made in his video was just magnificent. For example, Trisha slated Gabby Hanna in one of her videos. And let's just hear what she has to say. Also, this message with Gabby Hanna, Gabby Hanna, you still suck. You are a scary ass bitch and you are a rape apologist. Those phone calls prove that you are an actual rape apologist, which you denied, 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 and you are the lowest, most disgusting form of human being ever. And don't think for a second that that last Friday's episode on views had anything to do with you. In fact, I'd rather them change the title. I ask them not to change the title to Trisha Storms Out. Please change the title to Trisha Storms Out because that's why people are watching that and not you, Gabby. No one gives a fuck. I'm so sick that I even talked about you, that I have allowed you to just absolutely eat and away at me, but now also Jesse and all these 
these are the people that you've been an absolutely disgusting, vile person to. You are disgusting, you are a liar and a psychopath, and you need serious, serious help. So don't even think for a second that you're trolling or winning or if anyone thinks you're relevant. It now let's just hold this statement by the balls, because in a few minutes it's going to be very useful. So Trish Paytas doesn't like Gabby Hanna because of the things she said and the things she's done to Jesse Smiles. Therefore, Trisha Paytas won't go anywhere near Gabby Hanna because Trisha hates Gabby Hanna. But since our knowledge of Trisha Paytas being the smartest human ever, wouldn't she still be angry at Keemstar for saying worse things to Jesse Smiles than Gabby Hanna did? I hate cases of R words. In most cases, only two people in the world actually know what happened. Everyone else has to guess. The Jesse Smiles and Curtis story is hard to believe because they were boyfriend and girlfriend. But the truth is, none of us actually know what happened. You have handled this situation with such poor taste. You are right. You don't know what happened. You sure felt like you did all these years when you constantly called me a liar and mocked me and my accusations. You hate all these R cases. By the way, must be hard on you. And then Keemstar's tweet from 2014. Sorry, Jesse Smiles. Twitter only has 140 spots. Please don't accuse me of R. Wow, Keemstar. Twitter only has 110 spots for alpha males. It's a shame you didn't make any of them because I can smell your pussy from you. But just as I thought, ladies and gentlemen, Trisha Paytas is definitely the smartest person in the spectrum of delusion. So basically, I just have one question for you if it's not too hard to answer. Uh, why would you collaborate yourself with someone who hurts Jesse Smells the most? I know it can be hard keeping in the loop, you know, your schedule's pretty full with driving through McDonald's drive throughs and I, and I bet some people in the comments right now will be losing their mind with some of the things I said, but I'm only making an observation. She goes to drive throughs a lot. What else am I supposed to say? So my point is, is that you can't be angry with an individual for upsetting a certain person, but then go on a person's podcast who said even worse things and play best friends with them. Playing best friends, honestly, I thought I left school, but this takes me right back. So thank you, Trisha Paytas, for allowing me to relive the worst time of my life where I was bullied every single day. And now, for the best comedy quote you've ever heard. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you I don't know what I would do if I was in that situation, right? But like sending hate towards someone or something when there's like a bad, like it, it doesn't feel like the right answer. I've never sent hate that way. I'm like, I've had to defend myself on that video. What do you mean? Oh God, Trisha, there's something behind you. Fuck you, we have anybody out here that gets fucking demonetized. Fuck you. No, what's happening? Oh no. There's another one. I, I hate people just like that are you. You're the person I hate in this world. Oh god, I guess you were the monster all along. Ladies and gentlemen, with a Trisha Paytas backlog the size of my penis, how could you possibly trust her with anything you say? And the backlog is... <laughs> it's pretty big. It's girthy. And it's very long. The backlog. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the Trisha Paytas best bits. Best bits. Best bits. Hey guys, I'm back. Now this is the kind of bit at the end of the video where I add the extra bits and you might be thinking, what extra bits? They don't sound very good. Well, they're not just extra bits. They're the best bits that were so good. I had to keep them until the end of the video. So we're just going to be kind of reminiscing over Trisha Paytas here. Some of the best clips on the internet that we have of her. I've done this in my last video as well. This is now the best bit segment. Because people will be saying, oh, did you watch the end to see the best bits? You see? Best bits. Best bits. Best bits. Let's talk about the time, ladies and gentlemen, where Trisha Paytas literally lied uh, to Ethan H3's face while she was on their podcast. So Trisha Paytas basically made a video claiming that she was transgender, which was a very questionable video. And while she was on their podcast, uh, she was asked the simple question of, how much money did you make on it? And this is when Trisha said, well, I did not make any money. The video was demonetized. I don't monetize that kind of content. Now, it could have been easier. You could have just said the truth not made yourself look like an absolute fool in front of everyone. But apparently Trisha Paytas didn't have the YouTube Studio app on the phone to check, so Ethan made her install it. And this is where the best thing comes in. The trans <laughs> video has over 3 million views. Many people are claiming that you do that uh, in part for YouTube revenue. Is that true? 
No, because YouTube doesn't monetize uh, like LGBTQ plus videos. Like if you talk about it, they don't put it. They don't put ads on it. Also, I demonetize any of my scandal videos. My my first H three, my response to you guys was demonet or I I didn't monetize. It wasn't demonetized. I monetized it. All my vlog squad videos, those are all not monetized. I showed it on Instagram. So like, I don't monetize any. I of this. went to your channel yesterday, and that video gave me two pre mid rolls, two of them. Yeah, you no, but YouTube does that. I can I literally can show you. I can screenshot it and show you. Like it'll say like even on my demonetizer ones I did not monetize myself like any ones I've made apology and then just coming up regarding my I am transgender 3 million views green icon monetized and I'm <laughs> gonna tell you exactly how much money no, she, don't made. Say how <laughs> she made eight thousand dollars for that video <laughs> Wait, you have to cut that because YouTube will literally no, take away my monetization. You can't say how much you bullshit. made. That's also a, a urban legend. She made eight thousand dollars on the transgender video. Yeah. That's totally nothing, isn't it? Claims it's not monetized, but then again makes $8,000. That doesn't cooperate together, I'm afraid. So well done, Trisha, for being the smartest person on the internet. You get nothing. Just a whole lot of laughs. <laughs> Best bits. Now, Trisha and Keemstar, they have a very odd relationship. Um, for some reason, Trisha doesn't want to be friends with Keemstar. Um, then if that's the case, why were you acting like you wanted him to be more than friends? on Twitter. Hey Keemstar, can we do a collab for OnlyFans and I'll eat your ass out? You don't even have to shower. I like it total butt ass dirt shit. Licking a man's butt all when he hasn't showered. Let me tell you the things about a male's butt all. It is a place that is forbidden to go. Unless you're my girlfriend. That's, you know, kept for her. I go to bed falling asleep fantasizing about Keemstar and choking on his fat chode. <laughs> What's a chode? I, I don't even know. I'm from the United Kingdom. <laughs> what even is a chode? Is that English? Forget to salon. Right. So Keemstar mentioned me on Drama Alert today. Does this mean he can fill my ass with sp now or what? What do you think about that? Yummy. Yummy. Keemstar, a 40 year old man with children, f wanting to f fill. Children. Whoa, no, I didn't say that. I said Keemstar's got children, yeah? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andrea, Keemstar filling children. Nice! <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the best bits. Um, I'm gonna do this more often, I think. Uh, and also, thank you for the support in the last video about my deep chat. Uh, I am extremely grateful, and I would like you to subscribe if you're new, of course, so we can reach 100k. Uh, it means a lot to me. And of course, like the video, let's reach 1,000, 2,000 likes. And a comment for the algorithm. Wanna see those comments build up, baby? Yeah! You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.